Hey guys, Saban here with another tutorial on After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do this kind of cool looking motion track glass piece effect and I'm pretty sure you've all seen this effect before um, it was done by the infamous Baker's Tuts in his Cade Up at Quarry Edit and he used it in the beginning cinematic and he added these kind of glass kind of motion track pieces just floating around and I'm going to show you how to do this effect because I've seen one or two people try to pull it off but not in the best way possible so um, let's really see this effect so as you can see we have the kind of glass pieces just floating there and also over here and stuff like just some glass pieces just floating and of course you can see some refraction especially here like you can see the refraction the distortion created by the light uh, by the glass and I'm just going to be showing how to do this effect and of course it's kind of similar to the screen crack tutorial I uploaded yesterday so you can watch that as well if you want some more information on one or two of the scale properties in the transform effect so what we're going to be doing is well first of all just create a new adjustment layer and we can just rename this to glass pieces like so and if we go to our well first of all we need to have this motion tracked because this adjustment layer is going to be the glass piece and we need it to be motion tracked and I already have some tutorials on how to motion track and I go into quite a lot of depth so you can get a proper understanding of motion tracking instead of me just going over it proper quickly and you'll just kind of get like you wouldn't understand motion tracking properly so or how to use the effect to say um, so I'll put the link of my motion tracking tutorials in the description so you can watch that so after you have motion track your piece so I have my camera over here so um, if you turn this the adjustment layer to a 3d layer by hitting this little uh, 3d layer box here like so you can see the adjustment layer automatically shifts um, in proportion to the camera as it is now affected by it and as you can see it's kind of motion track there so if we just go to like this position where it's kind of filling the whole screen um, we need to start adding the effects to make it more glassy and first of all we're gonna start off with transform and you could use magnify but transform has one or two other features such as skew and rotation and one or two other things that could come in handy if it's uh, for your use um, so I'm just going to be focusing on the scale and as you can see this will kind of give us our refraction kind of kind of cut kind of effect uh, when we add a mask to this adjustment layer so I'm just going to keep this at 100 for now and the other thing which makes it a lot more realistic is CC glass and it's a stylized effect so if we just put this onto our adjustment layer you can automatically see by, that by default it changes the image quite a lot so um, as you can see here we have our lighting and but first of all I'm just gonna start off with the surface parameters and you can see it's just it's quite simple here just some displacement the height the softness of it like how blended it is with the actual footage and of course you have some different properties like different channels but I'm just going to keep it on lightness of course you can muck around in here I prefer just to have this at a kind of subtle kind of effect so not too much so maybe a little bit less like so maybe just a bit more and basically what this does is if you look here this is a typical example where refraction is easily visible um, you put the straws in a glass and as you can see the light is refracted by the water and this gives it this kind of weird distorted look and as you can see um, it's kind of slightly a different shade as well kind of slightly different shading but th you can tell this will be slightly edited but I just got that off Google Images just to show you what refraction really is um, I'm not going to go into a physics lesson <laughs> um, yeah so if we go into the lighting you can see we have our light intensity to change the brightness of it um, we also have light to color 
so you can change the color if you want it to be say if you're creating a window scene like a room and you want to create a window you can use this to add a tint to it um, if you don't have any after effects lights and as you can see it is slightly a different like the light does act differently in the water so you could use this kind of uh, you could use the just the effect and maybe just change it a little bit more subtle uh, well you can if you want I prefer having things quite subtle and just to make it a little bit blue so as you can see we have this kind of going on here and the other thing is after effects lights and basically what an after effect light is is if we go layer new light we have we can create a light so if we change this to a kind of green color like so and if we hit ok we go back into our glass pieces and change this to after effects lights and if we just go back a bit oh, turn the effect on um, you can see that this light now affects the adjustment layer and this could be useful if you already have some lights in your project if you're doing some 3d work in after effects um, and you have some lights you want the lighting to be affected on the window kind of adjustment layer this can be really helpful so I'm just going to turn it back to effects and I'm going to delete that light effect uh, light um, to say so um, that's pretty much it in lights and of course you have the point light so it's like right pointed and you can have the distance of it as well and I'm just going to change it to distant light and of course you have light directions so say um, you can see the shadows kind of coming from here so we want it to be about 120 degrees to get a more realistic kind of light effect on this um, but you don't have to go to that much detail and of course you have some shading you can like with the specular and stuff you can just change one of these basically play around with it learn how it works and this can really make it a lot more realistic so um, I am just going to delete the CC glass effect and just put on oops, put on a default CC glass and all I'm going to do is change the displacement down slightly and on the light add actually I'm not going to add a color in the light so as you can see we're starting to get a more kind of glassy distorted look the next thing is curves and what I do with this is I usually just color correct it or color grade it slightly just to give it a little more difference to it and I'm just going to add some blue to this not too much just slightly like so so now what we have here is a kind of really it's like kind of you can tell that it's kind of slightly being distorted in this area and what I'm going to do now is if we just turn off the 3d layer it's now just a 2d layer what we can do is grab the pen tool make sure to click on our adjustment layer so the mask is applied onto the adjustment layer and what we can do now is create a kind of cool looking glass shard so I'm just gonna go with a cool triangle and as you can see the effect is now only applied within the mask if you want it to go around the other way if you go on the glass pieces adjustment layer double hit M you get the mask properties you can go with subtract these other like difference and all that I'm just gonna go with add and if you want to make the edges slightly softer if it's for your use you can add some feather to it but I don't need that also you have the opacity and one or two other features as well and what we have to do now is add some scale to it so you can put as much scale as you want just how much you want really and if we turn this back to a 3d layer you can see where we've got that effect now we've got that kind of floating glass piece effect that Baker created here so this is pretty much the effect but just to add some more like atmosphere to it what we can do is if we go to the beginning here you can see the adjust uh, the glass piece over here and what I'm going to do is click on the adjustment layer uh, click on R to bring up the orientation and rotation and hold down shift and click P 
to bring up the position and what we can do now is keyframe the orientation and the position so by clicking the stopwatch to make a keyframe um, we can leave it like this at first and then go forward say about a second and 15 frames and this is the time where it, you can just spend days just mucking around with this so we can just change the position of it maybe like that and also the orientation and of course you can make this as dramatic or as subtle as you want and now as you see here you kind of have this kind of floating glass effect at the moment with the camera angles you're kind of getting a less floating effect so if you just turn it up a bit you kind of get this kind of floating effect and maybe if we just drag these out here like that so it carries on moving while the camera goes past it and if we quickly make a round preview we can see how it looks like you can see it's just kind of moving and that'll be enough so as you can see kind of looks like a float it's just floating there and like within just 3d space and this is pretty much the effect and the other way he had like baker had a lot just going around and the thing he probably did was just get that and just duplicate it a couple of times or probably quite a few times because he had a lot of pieces flying there and if we go into say the uh, keyframes by hitting U on the adjustment layer if we go on this glass pieces too and we just change the keyframes around really so like this and we can have some weird orientations and going on here and if we just go back to here and we just change it randomly even though we can't even see it we just change it around and stuff it will look different so it doesn't really matter I'm just changing it randomly and now if we see how it looks like you can see it looks like it's floating and also it doesn't always have to be a triangle you could make a different mask so if we go into the mask here and delete this mask and we just change it off a 2d layer and we just oop, grab the pen tool and we just make a weird kind of a mask like so and then we just make it 3d again you can see it's a different kind of triangle um, you could also just hit V to get the point select tool yes yeah, selection tool and we could just move these around like that to create a different type of triangle and if we hit you again we get the keyframes oops like this and of course we can just muck around with all of this as well so if we just keyframe the orientation and change it randomly and this is where you can just play for it for hours and hours on end so um, yeah just play around with that and as you can see we have some floating glass pieces if I just quickly round preview this at the moment I've just got them all bunched in one area so you can't really tell that there are multiple glass pieces but as you get a bit closer you will see them so you could spread them around like some right in the distance over there some right close up to the camera here some in the middle some up there some down there some in the corner some everywhere and you could just make some really weird effects like you have going here and as you can see just after it's around preview you can see they're kind of floating around and stuff and right now it's a bit too subtle I would maybe change the colors a bit more by adding like say a bit more blue and as you can see it really starts to make a difference so you can really tell that those pieces are really there like that and to be honest that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment subscribe and make that effect as original as you can putting it into weird like circumstances just just putting it into different like making it more original really and yeah that's just one way of using it so if you have any tutorial requests leave them in the comment section below if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so this has been saban with another after effects tutorial and i will see you in the next video